Hey friends, it's time for another project on the Chunky truck. So yesterday I removed the 1G alternator and the voltage regulator and I stripped down the wiring harness and removed the wires that are associated with it. That's my ignition lead um, from the truck. So we're gonna keep that because we do want that. But that's it. That's all we needed from the uh, factory harness. We're gonna remove this. I'm gonna use my DeWalt cordless impact wrench. Hopefully it'll it'll work. And I've got a screwdriver jammed in here. That's the old alternator, so let's just get started with that right now. I don't know if this alternator works or not, but I'm not terribly concerned about it. So I don't care if I jack it up with the screwdriver. Now the replacement is a AC Delco. I decided to go with AC Delco because they make a lot of truck alternators. Let's see if this comes off nicely. Sweet. We're hanging on to that. It has a fan inside, so it's not going to need that. But I think we got a clearance issue here. Yeah, so that has a shim on it. Let me go see if I can find something that's about that size. Uh, if I have to, I'll make the damn shim, but I really don't want to make a shim if I can avoid it. So here's how we figure out how much shim we need. And whatever this distance is, is what we need. So about a washer. So let me go for one. Now there's a couple ways that we can figure out what size washer. We can do trial and error. That, that's perfectly acceptable or we can use a micrometer. And this is about 0.67 inches, or we can use this, and it's about 0.66 inches. So anything that's six, seven inches or larger will work. Let me go root through my collection because I have a lot of good hardware. Okay, so I do not have a 17 millimeter washer, but I do have the lock washer came off the other one. And I think that thickness is enough. So that's what we're gonna do. Fortunately, that causes an issue there. Hmm. That's a different sheave. Let me go see what the internet thinks. All right, so I don't have a, a three quarter inch washer or 17 millimeter washer, but I do have something that's close. So we're gonna we're gonna bore that out.
although it doesn't look like it's centered. God damn it. Okay, so I'm going to make another one <laughs> out of something thinner. And we're going to see if we can do a better job of centering this one. Um, I don't want the wobble induced. So I just need to grab that. This nut is just a little thinner, so it's a better fit. I do want to just very quickly see what the difference is with the fit with the first one. don't have enough threads here and this, this is the problem I like that better they're both off-center but there's a lot less mass here they are within a fraction of a width of one one. 
And now it's just a question is, is this going to be Loctite or are we going to get a thread uh, a washer on here? I don't think I have enough to purchase on these threads. Certainly not with that one or that one. And yes, there are railroad tracks very close to here. on. I'll probably regret this later, but that's how we're going to do it. The lock washer works on the same principle as the thread locker. So we want to make sure we get a good seat, so we're going to withdraw and reinsert. ready to put the alternator back in but I'm also not. Um, I've got a bunch of hoses in here that I want to change and this is about the best access that I think I'm going to get so I think I'm going to change some hoses in the morning. Um, these heater hoses are trash. These hoses that this clamp style is trash um, and I just want to make sure that I don't have to change these on the side of the road and it's a lot easier to do it now. Uh, this vacuum hose is really suspect and it's really difficult to get to um, So that makes it a great candidate to have it changed Yeah, I don't even see how they were able to get in there with that They had to take the stupid vacuum pump out in order to uh, put that hose on And I might have to do the same thing which means I might not touch it because I don't see a way in there So yeah, um, that's the kind of stuff that I want to mess with while I've got, uh, it, it probably would be easier to take the pump out now and change that um, than it will be later. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's where I think I'm going to stop is uh, the vacuum system drives uh, some of the air conditioning stuff and the uh, power brake booster, which is notoriously unreliable on this vehicle. Um, so. I think this would be a good opportunity to mess with that hose and um, you know I need to get rid of all the old leaky hoses that I can find. So as much of a pain in the ass as it is, uh, I think it's an important thing to do. So at any rate, that's where we're at right now. and. Um, I'm also sitting here looking at this fuel hose assembly going, yeah, that would be really easy to mess with right now. Um, but then again, where does it end? So uh, I think for right now I'm going to stop and I'm going to mess with coolant in the morning um, because that is on my agenda for this truck. Uh, it needs the coolant replaced anyway, but we should start with um, replacing the coolant hoses because these are just old and ratty looking. And this is pretty good access to them right now. I don't have the number four wire I need to run to the alternator anyway, so I'm going to get that ordered. And uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, sorry if it's not very eventful, but uh, I think that's an important video that'll help other people who are trying to make this conversion on their vehicles. Thanks for watching.